everybody, it's Christina from Christina's Crafts and I am going to show you how to make this hanging towel. Right, let's get started. So I have my towel. I have um, yarn to crochet on the top. It is Super Saver Cafe Latte. I found that, find that acrylic yarn, especially the Super Saver stuff, works really good because the tops don't stretch as much after they've been washed. You're going to need a scissors, a marker, a ruler, and your needles for sewing in your thread, and a button. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to fold your towel in half. And I just want to say um, this is based off a pattern that I saw on another YouTube video, but I did alter the pattern a little bit. So <clears throat> you fold your towel in half as best that you can to get it nice and straight. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna mark your towel. So you wanna go probably about maybe a quarter of an inch or so away from the top of the towel. You're gonna start at the end right here, and then you're gonna mark the towel all the way across every half inch. So I actually have this one done on the other side already. It's all set to go. So what you're going to need first is yarn to sew on the top of the towel. And what you want to do is go this way across the towel about eight times with the yarn. Measure it out. That's about how much you're going to need to crochet in the top. So you're going to get your needle. And you are going to thread it. You're going to use double strands for this. All right. And you want to leave a tail at the end for sewing in. So not your yarn and you want to leave a, about that much of a tail because that has to get sewn into the towel. So make sure that your yarn is straight. All right. Okay, this is what you're going to do first. So you are going to stick your needle in the inside of the towel and come out through this first dot right here. You want your end of your yarn on the inside of the towel. All right, so you're just going to tuck this in here. Make sure it's pulled tight. Just kind of out of the way for right now. Then you're going to go over at the top of the towel and you're gonna go through the back of the towel, right into here, right into the dot. So through the back of the towel, up through the front. Make sure you don't pull that too tight right there. Then you're gonna to stick your needle in here and you're gonna go through this way. Now what we're doing right now is we're, crush we're getting ready to make a base so that we can crochet across the towel. So what you wanna make sure you do is you're gonna kinda of make a circle with the yarn. You're gonna bring this yarn up here, kinda of go around, and you're gonna to go to the next dot and you're gonna stick it through the front. Now when you stick it through the front, make sure you don't go underneath this yarn right here. You wanna make sure this is back here so you're going to pull it through. Okay. And you want to pull it a little tighter, not too tight. What you're doing is you are making a little loop right here that you can crochet under. So pull your yarn around, make a circle, push it up over the top of the towel. Make sure that yarn's over there. Go through the next hole and then pull it up. Now, sometimes if the yarn doesn't stay even, it will get stuck. So you want to try to keep this on your yarn as even as possible. So make a circle and then you're going to stick it through the front of the towel. Now make sure it comes out here and not underneath here and then pull it up. I'll show you one more. 
So make a circle, pull that up, and go through the front of the towel. And pull it up. And what you're doing is you're creating loops at the top that you're going to crochet in. So I'm going to go ahead and, and get to the end, and then I'll show you how to finish it off. All right, I made it all the way to the end. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go through the back of the towel right here. Stick it through the back into the middle of the towel and pull it through. Now, I actually had a little mishap when I was doing mine and it got stuck and knotted. So I ended up with not as long of a tail at the end as I wanted to. But what you're going to do is you're going to crochet this little tail on the inside of the towel here. Make sure you weave it in between the yarn. Now, normally I have way more yarn than this, so this is a little difficult, but you're going to go through about two or three, maybe four times just to make sure that the end is secure. But I got my yarn a little too short, so I'm going to only go through three times. And then you're just going to chop it off. And then it's all wound in there. It should be nice and secure. Then you are going to come back to the beginning of the towel where you left these two ends in there. And you're going to do the same thing and thread them on the inside of the towel. So kind of just stick it in here, go through there. And just once you like weave your ends in and you go right through the other fiber, just kind of weave it in the best you can. Do it three or four times and it should stay pretty good. All right. I'm going to do this with this end also. All right, and then snip off the end. Okay, and then you have your towel. You are all set to start crocheting. All right, so I have two skeins of Red Heart Super Saver here because I just find that's easiest because you are going to crochet with two strands of yarn, not just one. I like the two strands because it's way sturdier than just a, just one strand of yarn, and it's going to stretch out a lot less the topper once you wash it. So what you're going to do is you're going to make a slip stitch onto your hook like this, and you want to make sure that you leave a long enough tail because that's going to have to get sewn in. All right, so you have your slip stitch. You're going to go into this first one right here that you created and stick it through. And then you're going to pull it through and you're going to do a slip stitch through there. Then you're going to chain two. All right, then all the way across, what you're going to do is a double crochet. So double crochet, double crochet, and you're going to go underneath each of these loops right here. All right, I am going to go ahead and double crochet across each of these loops. All right, I just put my last double crochet in in the end. Then what you're going to do is you are going to chain three. Now that th chain three is going to count as a double crochet. You are going to turn your work. And then you are going to put a double crochet, not in this one right here, but the next one. So not in this one right below the next one. So put a double crochet in that one. And then you're going to double crochet two together in the next two. All right, so the pattern going up for a few rows is double crochet, 
double crochet, double crochet two together. All right, so chain three, double crochet, double crochet two together, double crochet, double crochet, double crochet two together. So you're gonna go do two double crochet, double crochet two together to the end. 